Hello, fan fans. I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and we are going to take a look at a very powerful fan. But first, I might need to say thank you to Margaret Lanfu, the vendor on Amazon, for sending a replacement for this fan. Something weird happened with the last fan, um, and I'm not really sure what it was, but um, she didn't send me the exact same one for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but um, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, the blades on this one are rather a little bit different and it's not the same uh, manufacturer that's part of it so the original one looks like that and the replacement looks like that so the this one the original is from young Yi science and technology and the replacement is from uh, Young Yi Hao Electronic Company Limited. Hmm. Okay. But anyways, uh, I really appreciate that Margaret um, and her assistants or whoever it was that was helping me uh, were willing to replace the the bad fan with another one. Um, I kind of like this one. Well, they're both they're both really really good. Um, I'm not sure what was the difference internally but we're going to take a look at this and uh, so take another look it is quite thick as you can see at 38 millimeters thick it's called the snow fan <laughs> and no it doesn't blow snow are you ready It's really hard to get it to the to the the minimum voltage. There it is. Wow, this is just okay. Apparently, that's as low as it's going to let me go. So this is a powerhouse trying to blow my face off and I haven't even turned it up yet there is a harmonic resonance another one that's higher my gosh that is so so loud wow I've got okay <laughs> I I can actually feel it all the way to my other hand which is way over here I've got the fan Woo, way over there try not to cut my fingers off now let's see where oh there it is so it does cone out and oh my gosh what is that that's at least that's at least five millimeters of static pressure wow okay i'm i'm pretty sure this uh beats most of my other fans i'll be very interested when i when i do the actual testing to see what kind of results i get from this but that is a screamer and it's very very strong pushing a lot of air and very powerfully doing so. Uh, so yeah, use it for whatever you want. Um, you could pr <laughs> probably do some pretty ridiculous things with it, like you know, use it for our food processor. Except I don't think it's waterproof, so that probably would not be a wise choice. Uh, just need to ask for your help, please. If you can like, subscribe, share, comment, and turn on notifications, that'll help me to build this channel. I'm going to be having a shoulder surgery on December thirteenth, twenty twenty four. And that's coming right up here. We're talking about a little bit more than a week now. Uh, I'm going to be off of work for three to four months, so um, I do have some help from the state, but uh, it's, 
the amount of money that's going to be coming in uh, from my employer is not what it should be, partially because uh, my employer refuses to acknowledge that the injury happened at work, even though it was a direct result of them ignoring two safety policies. So if you could please help me out um, by doing those five things. Also, if you want to help me financially to pay for getting an AMD computer so that I could do testing of coolers on AMD as well as Intel, that would be really super. Uh, you can either go to Glenn's Fast Reviews um, and become a member there, and or you could go to patreon.com slash glennmii and become a member there. Thanks. So let's go ahead and look at the specs. Okay, so the Young Yi Hao Electronic Company Limited, but it's also made by Young Yi uh, Science and Technology. Uh, the Y dash Y12038 H12B snow fan. And uh, this is a $23.5 fan uh, certified, uh, sorry, it's compliant with CE certification. Made in China, 120 by 38 millimeters. I don't know about the. Uh, uh, lifespan or the warranty however i can tell you i bought the original one uh, probably a year ago and yet the vendor uh, again margaret lanfu uh, was willing to send me a replacement when that one broke um i'm not even really sure how it broke or why it broke it could have you know i i didn't i i have no idea honestly i was just getting ready to do this review and suddenly two blades broke off so that was really weird I don't know if something happened where something uh, like my sleeve or something got caught in there and I didn't know it happened or if the blade was just defective couldn't tell you uh, that blade uh, that one does have blades that have a long protrusion so it could have been that but I really do, honestly genuinely don't know 320 grams seven blades 105 millimeters between the mounting holes 63 uh, 63,000 rpms supposedly I don't know what the actual RPMs are because this fan is too powerful. Um, I'm going to have to pull out my RPM meter and try to measure it that way because uh, my Zalman ZM3 uh, fan controller only goes up to like, I think, 9,000, and then it's just like, I give up! <laughs> so I don't know. 230.38. CFMs of airflow, and it has at least five millimeters of static pressure. Um, I'm going to guess it's rather more than that. 58 decibels. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's pretty darn noisy. 35 centimeter cable that is not daisy chainable or sleeved, made with a PWM connector and fluid dynamic bearings. 12 volts, 52.2 uh, watts, 4.35 amps. So clearly, this is a fan that uses a lot of electricity, and you get a lot in return. And um, you can, well, technically, uh, you, you can see the uh, indicators for rotation and flow. It doesn't come with anything other than, well, yeah. But um, if you peel off the uh, sticker you'll see that it looks like it's possible if you have the right tool, you would be able to actually remove the impeller from the engine. So I'm going to, um, I don't know if Major Hardware is going to be willing to uh, help me out, but I'm going to try reaching out to him and see if he would be willing to uh, help me to make a replacement impeller for the other one, in which case, in which case that could be a little bit of fun. Um, We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but anyways, that's it. I'm sorry to do this, but I need to ask for your help. Um, because Amazon and Sedgwick won't take responsibility for the injury I sustained at work um, that is going to cause me to have to have my shoulder replaced on November 29th of 2024, I'm going to be off of work for three to four months. And um, the pay that I'll be getting from Amazon during that time, because Sedgwick will not pay me anything, will be um, after taxes and benefits, probably somewhere in the area of 10 maybe $12, something like that, per hour of a 40-hour a week. <clears throat> and so that's going to be very financially troublesome for me, um, to, to put it mildly. I mean, just my uh, rep 
rent alone is like $1,150. And then there are all the other expenses. Um, I do have some help, but I do appreciate it if anybody uh, is willing to help. You can join my uh, channel, Glenn's Fast Reviews, or you can go to patreon.com slash Glenn, M-I-I, and become a member there. If you can't uh, safely do that, please don't, though. I don't want anybody financially getting into trouble with trying to help me. That would just kind of that would make me feel really, really um, bad, um, as if somehow I was responsible for the choice you made, um, even though it was your choice. So if, if, if you can't, that's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a great day.